Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I'm so excited to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now, we've been talking about seed time and harvest. How does this thing work? Now, he said, you know, you know, people have a problem. See, when a preacher comes up and says, oh, seed time, oh, their mind goes to, okay, he wants to collect my money. <laughs> Praise God. Now, let me tell you the truth. Peter was a fisherman. And he had taught all night and he caught nothing. Now, he was doing what he knew to do. Go to a certain place, throw your nets, and then catch the fish. But he had done that all night. Think, now, think about how many times he must have thrown out his nets into the river and caught nothing. See, But when he met Jesus, you see, Jesus didn't tell him, Peter, this is the one thing you have been doing wrong. No, Jesus didn't say that. Jesus just said, okay, Peter, throw your nets into the sea. He looked at Jesus and then he said, Master, say, sir, we have done this all night. But then he said something. He says, nevertheless, at thy word, I'll do it again. Now, he didn't tell Peter to do anything new. The same thing Peter had been failing at is the same thing the Lord said, do again. But you see, Peter made up his mind at that moment. I'm going to believe Jesus. Now, that's what changed everything. See? That's what changed everything. So, don't think, don't think that the laws of God will change or God is going to tell you something new for your life to change. No. He's not going to tell you anything new. Many times, He's going to tell you the same things you think you knew. But what's going to be the difference? The difference right now is going to be at His command. Now that's what changes everything. Maybe you've written exams several times and you have failed. Maybe a professional exam or a setting course and you failed like maybe two, three times. And then I say, oh, I think I, I'm a failure at this thing. And then you go before the Lord and say, Lord, I don't know, I'm thinking of what to do with my life right now since I couldn't get my professional certificate or stuff like that. And then the Lord speaks to you and says, son, go and write that exam again. Ah, no, no, I don't want to fail again. I don't want to fail again. No, please, Lord, tell me something else to do, not this exam. Ah, no, I dread that exam. Hey, you are missing the point. Now he is commanding you to do it. The moment he commands you to do it, strength has been released upon you. There is no way you are going to fail. The best thing you can do for yourself is quit that thought. Of failure in your heart. I said, I'm a new man coming to this exam <laughs> with the word of God in my heart and the ability of God in my spirit. I'll write this exam and I'll pass it. Why? Because the Lord commanded me to do it. That's what makes the difference. So now listen to this. He said, verse 3, Psalm chapter 1. And he shall be like a tree. This, this man I was talking about yesterday. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water and bringeth and bring forth his fruit in its season. His leaves shall not wither. See? His leaves shall not also wither. And whatsoever he does shall prosper. The kingdom of God works by giving and receiving. See? Sowing and reaping. Now, that's how the kingdom of God functions. That's how prosperity functions. You, there is no... You see, if God comes to your house right now and says, Son... Look, I have prospered you. I have blessed you. And then God walks away. And you're excited. Oh, I'm so blessed. I'm so thankful to God now. Listen, the next thing that's going to be set in motion is this. Sowing and reaping. Now, some of you don't even realize. I remember last week I was talking to, I shared this, you know, with you. And, and someone who listened to the, who watched the broadcast was talking to me about it. And I'm like, ah, I never knew. That pain of bills is seed sowing. And if I say from the way you shared it, it, it just means it's seed sowing. I, I never knew I was supposed to pray over my NEPA bill or my, my water bill or my tax before I paid. I say yes. Because it's a seed that you are sowing. Someone said, how? It's the truth. Listen, the fact that that money left you, it becomes a seed. Now I'm talking to you, who he is talking about here, that whatsoever this man does prospers. 
any money that is leaving your hand automatically becomes a seed. And when it's a seed, what does that mean? A harvest is on the way. Praise God. Listen. Now, that's how we walk in prosperity. That's how we walk in the blessing of God. See? You know, sometimes I wish I can just stretch this timing. <laughs> I've got to stop here. Now it's getting more interesting. So we're going to continue right from this spot, you know, tomorrow. And don't miss the, the, the broadcast tomorrow. Subscribe to our page on YouTube so you can always get an alert when the message comes. Praise God. Until tomorrow, listen, you are going to so walk in God's prosperity today because knowledge is coming to you. God bless you. Bye-bye.